Today, the public chamber held hearings at the Musabat Police headquarters to discuss transparency in spending oil revenues. Mirwari Gehrmanlı of the Committee for Defense of Oil Workers said that the oil revenues are primarily used for building pipelines and water pipelines, specifically the Gabala Ogusbaku pipeline projects, assisting refugees and internally displaced people, and are also used for Azerbaijan students studying abroad. It has been claimed that between 2001 and 2011, 807 million Azerbaijan manat has been allocated for refugees and ITPs. However, there is no report verifying this. It was noted that a great amount of oil revenues had been spent on the construction of the Gebala Ogusbaku water pipeline. According to the pipeline project, 480 million Azerbaijan manat was allocated for the building of this water pipeline, but the cost soon spiraled. The cost rose initially to 737 million Azerbaijan manat. But as the project neared completion, the figure was said to have raised 1 billion Azerbaijan manat. So far, no explanation for the difference in cost has been provided, despite the difference being close to 300 million Azerbaijan manat. Glass-based pipes used for the construction of the Gebala Ogusbaku water pipeline were prepared by the Az Composite Company. Interestingly, the tender for this project was held before the Az Composite Company was formed. This means that the company won the tender before it was even established. The construction of the water pipeline has affected property of 3,257 residents, but so far, no compensation has been provided. The construction of the pipeline also caused environmental damage in the region. Nearly 30 springs dried out in the August region. At the time, the pipeline was justified by the assurance that it would supply 75% of Baku with water, but this has not been the case. During the meeting, it was also pointed out that the pipeline does not have a safety system, potentially putting millions of lives at risk. The speaker claimed that the money is being misappropriated by clients, client institutions and contractors. During the discussions, the speakers also focused on money transfers from the state oil fund to the state budget. The amount of money transferred between the two is in the region of $10 billion. In 2012, this figure will amount to 60.3% of the country's general income. The speaker suggested that as oil incomes increase, full control of the funds should be transferred to the parliament. This would allow parliament to verify the oil fund's budget and would require the state oil fund to provide a report to parliament, which would be given by the executive director. Several speakers argued that the money is not spent efficiently and that this is a direct result of the authoritarian regime in Azerbaijan.